My grandma Brenda is in her late 80s and fiercely independent. She doesn't want help with anything and will gladly tell you to fuck off if you do. <laughs> grandma! <laughs> oh. That's right. I can't wait to be That's a right. cursing grandma one day. Oh, wait, Dude. I don't have any kids. <laughs> a cursing, old cursing aunt. aunt. Yeah. A few years ago, she was living with my late grandfather in a rural area of Ontario, Canada, where she loved to walk her dog Rocky around in the bush. One day she went for her walk and didn't come back after two hours. Usually she would be back within an hour at the latest. This worried my grandpa, so he called the police to report her missing. Within an hour of that phone call, Rocky showed up home alone. Oh, my God. A search team was sent out to look for her. After four hours of searching, they found her. Waist deep in a swamp. What? <laughs> She'd walked into the swamp and then <gasps> continued walking, thinking she could get out, but ended up sinking and getting stuck. Oh my when they fi <laughs> when they finally found her, they asked for her name, to which she responded, "Just call me stupid." <laughs> oh, how embarrassing! <laughs> Fortunately, she was okay with a mild case of hypothermia, which was treated overnight in the hospital. She has since decided to stick to the paths on her walks. I thank my grandma and my mom for my true crime interest, starting from a young age watching Columbo and Murder, She Wrote with yes. them on sick days from school. Stay sexy and don't walk your dog alone in a swamp. Emily. <laughs> swamp. She just was like, gotta keep going. <laughs> Brenda's like, fuck this shit. I'm not going backwards. That's this right. is the one thing I've learned There's in all my no 80 going years. Back. You don't go back. You just fucking plow through. Stop complaining. And she's like, her legs are just cementing oh more and more God. into the mud. <laughs> And then to be like found and be like, this is so fucking embarrassing. Just, uh, yep, yeah, it's me. I've been standing here for four hours. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hypothermia. Oh, that's so sad. I'm glad she was okay. I'm so glad she was okay. And I love that. I just love it. Such a good story. Thank you, Emily. That was great.